They're hatching. Hey y'all, this is Billy from Bourbon Pastures Farm. Look at my new little buddy here. I'm not gonna name him because he and she and all the rest of them in here are all part. Okay, buddy, I'll let you down. You didn't have to pee on me. Anyway, these guys are the new iteration of the chicken tractor on steroids. We took our rooster out there, persimmon fill, and we mated him and we took the eggs, we stuck them in the incubator, and this is what we popped up with. So we got about, I think a grand total of about 42, 41 birds. Anyway, You've seen us in the past, and you can go back and watch those playlists where we, first time out that we've done it to raise meat birds, we raised, I don't recall the exact numbers, but we produced not only all of the meat that we put in those freezers, but in addition to that, a ton of compost. And then we did it a second time. But we bought those birds, uh, typical red meat birds, processed them, even did a class, showed other folks how to do it, put them in the freezer, and produced, I think, 21 cubic yards of compost. Now folks, this time out, we're gonna not only do it, but we're doing it with birds that we incubated and processed ourselves. So there is no initial cost in this. So folks, as astonishing as it was the first two times that we did it, where we not only put meat in the freezer, got compost out of the deal and essentially made money, this time we're gonna do it even better. We're gonna do the same, we know all the mistakes we've made from the first two times, We've worked on correcting those mistakes and now adding to the point where we can take these birds, take, hatch them from eggs, and bring them up and start them in that whole process all over again. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see how this turns out. And I'm hoping maybe this time out some other folks might look at it and decide you want to replicate it. And if you do, we're going to show you step by step, just like we did before, do weekly updates of all the things that are going well and all the things that aren't going so well. And we'll show you how we make adjustments on all that. Folks, I also wanna point out that in this time out, we are not at all concerned about the breed of the bird. Um, because frankly, we don't even know what they are. We got four different types of breeds down there in our laying flock, which all, which by the way, every single one of them are dual purpose birds, meaning that you can use them for meat and use them for eggs. Well, this time we're raising them up specifically to use as meat. Now in the way we raise it, because we let them go out a longer period of time, because we're not gonna do it in eight weeks, 10 weeks, or 12 weeks. These guys are almost certainly gonna go out to about close to 16 weeks. Now, they're not gonna be as tender as a regular bird, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. Because the ultimate goal of these guys is to not only put chicken in that freezer, but you also have to ask yourself the capacity in which you use some of the meat. For us, chicken nine times out of 10 is braised in some sort of method. So I'm not so concerned about how tender it is, just based on how we do it. But folks, if you're wanting to put meat in the freezer, you're wanting to do it um, inexpensively, it's also gonna be a, and this is one thing we're gonna show you as we showed you before, that there is, when you do methods like this, where you're not paying for feed, you're doing more work. So there is a trade off in that. And we'll walk you through the entire process as it unfolds right here. And if you have any questions, as always, folks, we'll do our very best to figure them out, answer them for you. So, we're gonna let these guys grow up, we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it, and we're gonna show you how it's done. All right, as these guys get older, we're basically gonna, we're only gonna leave them in this brooder for a short while. But we're not gonna worry about doing any filming, we're not gonna give you any updates until these guys get their big boy feathers and they're ready to go outside, in case we get some flash freeze or something like that. So once we get to that point, that's when we're going to really, really, really kick this thing off. So folks, I hope this helps. Till next time, this is Billy, the Permaculture Pimp Daddy, where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion. We'll see you next time.